Uh, let's go to the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis, chapter 31, verse 30. Amen. And today we'll take a lot of testimonies. Amen. We'll take a lot of testimonies and we will pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, can you give me the NLT version? Now, before I continue, let me tell you some of the things I will be teaching on Sunday. On Sunday is when I will get time to teach you um, the things you need to do to, so that when a wrong word is spoken on you, it will never work. The, the things you need to do, um, there are 13 things that you need to do. And on Sunday, I will break all of them down to you. And I also tell you um, the type of people that you don't joke with their words. Some people in your life that when they speak, there's 99.998 probability that what they say on you will happen. There are seven types of people in this world, and I'll let you know. And the times in a person's life that when they speak, it's very easy for it to happen in your life. The times, and I showed you most of them, when the person is in pain, in high spirit, when the person has just lost something, or when the person has just gained something, I will show you on Sunday. Everybody, make sure you are connected well. Amen. Um, um, I, I can understand your feeling that you must go and your intense, intense longing for your father's home. But why have you stolen my gods? Uh, turn to someone to say, why have you stolen my gods? Why have you stolen my gods? Amen. Uh, uh, let's go to 35 and let's see what happened. Okay, let's go to 30, 32. Uh, it will help us. Um, it will help us. Um, 32. Um, the... Um, the last clause, the last clause. Okay, I'm starting from the first clause. It says, uh, but as for your gods, see if you can find them and let the person who has taken them die. Um, tell somebody what happened. What happened? Okay, so I'm saying it again. Say, see. No, no, I'm saying it. Uh, see if you find them and let the person who has taken them die. And if you find anything else that belongs to me, you can take it off. But the last clause, now this is the dangerous thing. But Jacob did not know that Rachel, his wife, had stolen them. So everybody just come around the mountain. Today I'll just do an expository preaching for, for, uh, for me to break it down to you. Look at it right now. Check the whole context. He says, why have you stolen my gods? He says, now, the person who stole it will surely die. But Jacob did not know it was his own wife who had stolen it. And, and let's see what came out of it. Genesis chapter 35. Genesis chapter 35. What came out of it? Verse 16. Verse 16. Leaving Bethel, Jacob and his clan had moved, but Rachel was in labor and she was in pain. Let's continue. She was in labor. After a very hard delivery, the midwife said, don't worry at all, a boy is coming. Rachel was about to die, but with her last breath, she named the name, and Rachel died. Amen. So I've shown you some very, very different, different points and scenarios of the whole test. And by the time we are through, you will see the dangerous stuff about the power of words. Amen. Amen. I will ask the ushers to really, really let movement slow down. And there are many chairs at the back there. Don't let people be moving up and down. So that when they come, for now, when they can let them be there until... Um, after I'm done, then they will come inside of the place. I know. By next week, we have to get extra 200 chairs. Amen. So we'll make sure. So we'll just make sure. Because what I'm about to teach you is very, very serious. If you can see the way I'm talking, I mean this sermon seriously. Because it will help your life. Amen. Help me to speak to the title of my, uh, my sermon to your neighbor and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Don't play. Don't play. With words. With words. You may be seated. Just sit down and hear noise. Someone say Jacob. Jacob. One more time. Let's go. Jacob. Say it for the second time. Jacob. And say it for the last time. Jacob. By now, those who are familiar with Sunday school have heard about a Jacob. He was a smart guy. He was crazy. But yes, still. He was loved by God. God changed his name from Jacob all the way to Israel. The prince that has been able to wrestle with man and 
with God and all of them, he's been able to prevail. They are twins. He has one brother by the name of Esau. That's the firstborn. And the youngborn, his name is called Jacob, but he was smarter than the senior brother. Once upon a time, he's very hungry. The brother is very hungry. The brother says, give me something to it. He said, I will never give you. I'm a businessman. Before I give you what I need, what you need, this is what I want you to do. Give me your birthright. The brother said, I don't care. The brother made a permanent decision in a temporary situation. Be very careful how you make decisions when you are hungry. Be very careful how you decide things when you are looking for something in life. You don't know what tomorrow will come out of it. If tomorrow, Esau, because Esau also became a great nation, that's Edom, he became so great. If Esau knew he was going to become great, he wouldn't have sold what belonged to him, to the brother. Fast forward, blessing has come on Jacob. Jacob is running away. He went down all the way to stay with the uncle by the name of Laban. The moment he went into the uncle's house, he saw the uncle's daughter by the name of Rachel and said to the uncle, what do I need to do before I can get this lady? It's the uncle's daughter. But why did Jacob ask that question? Jacob knew something about life. That anything at all you get for free in life, you never value it. Those of you here who like free things, be very careful. If you like free things, you pay for it more later on. I'm telling you the truth. Even right now in the 21st century Christian, they love everything for free. You don't want to come and pray on an altar without putting a sacrifice on the altar. The man of God says, bring whatever you, you have on the altar. So because it's whatever, 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 we will put whatever, with whatever. But anything that do not have value can never work for you. Works for seven years. After seven years, tell the uncle, I'm ready. Give me what I worked for. He didn't get what he worked for. There is somebody seated over here. That has been your story. What you worked for, that's not you got it. You didn't get what you expected. But let me tell you the truth. He worked for extra seven years, making 14 years, until he received what he was looking for. Can I pause here to declare? Anything that at all that you were supposed to have received Jesus. that you couldn't receive. Jesus. Don't worry at all. Your own is not going to be 14 years. I speak, it's going to be in the next 14 days. Amen. The spirit of God, the power of God Amen. from the testimony city. There's going to be a shift. Okay, hear me. You know, I'm not just, just saying that just for you to be excited, but the Bible says for the for, for the for the for the number of years he worked for, it seems only to him as few days. So it came very, very quick. What people use years to get, Jesus. God will give you divine speed. Amen. Now, he stayed over there. He's living in the uncle's house. And this is where my sermon begins. And there's the power of words. The Bible says when they were living in the uncle's house, now this man, he's had two wives, two girlfriends, and 11 children. Because the last born had not come. On his way out, moving out of the place, everybody is excited, but he was running away from the uncle. Then something very painful actually happened, and that's why I am here. Give me a young girl. Give me a young. Give me one of the girls from the choir. Give me the young girl. So whilst they are leaving the uncle's house, this is Rachel. Rachel was about to leave. I don't know what came on Rachel. So Rachel watched. watched. Rachel checked. Then she quickly ran. Genesis chapter 31. She quickly ran. Come. Come. She checked that. Then she picked something. Pick it. Everybody is living. What are you taking from your past? There are many people seated here. You want to move forward, but you still have your past with you. Jesus. You can never see the light of the next level if you still hold on to the past. Jesus. Hear me. The past is gone. It will never come back again. Why are you holding on to the yeah, I know they hurt you. Forget about them. They fought you. Forget about them. Because there's a light in front of you. So, 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 um, give me 35. And let's see something on there. 35. Um, he says, he says, she said to the father, I'm in my flow, so I can't really, really move. Give me 36. Give me 36. 
Then he says, am I very angry? Okay, now that we go to 30, 36, give me the verse of 30, 32 coming. I just want you to get today. What, what I'm about to tell you is a painful story, but it will also help you. But Jacob did not know that Rachel has stolen the household idols. Let's go. So they started searching the whole place. Finally, he went into Rachel's tent, verse 34. But Rachel had taken the household idols and hidden them. It's okay. So right now, Rachel has stolen them. So just take it. Let, let's go. So she stole it. She's stolen everything. She's stolen everything. Then keep it over here. Then she take it over there. So after it's been stolen, the owner of it, young man, come to me. The owner of it, that is Rachel's father, came. And get me Jacob. You are Jacob, man of God. Come. So right now, Jacob is with the wife. Stand over there. So Rachel's father, Laban, the moment he heard that they have left, all of a sudden he said, ah, no, somebody has stolen something that belongs to me. So he started pursuing them. But the Bible says, when he came to Jacob, make sure your phone is on silent. When he came to Jacob, Jacob said, On what day? Why are you still tormenting me? Because for just Jacob, he didn't know he has stolen anything at all. He didn't know that he has stolen anything at all. Give me verse 30. Church, if you miss one point of this thing, it will, it will not help you. That's why I'm very, very down on what I'm very... So everybody, just be very, very sensitive for me. I can understand that you must go. Kevin, you are making noise. You must go, and you're intense longing for your father's house. But why have you stolen my gold? So, 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 um, Laban, come, come, man, come. So Laban is going to Jacob and say, Jacob, why have you stolen what belongs to me? But church, who stole it? Who stole it? I can't feel. I can't feel you. Who stole it? Rachel. Okay. Who stole it? Rachel. Okay, good, good, good. Verse 32, verse 32, verse 32. Bars for your gods. So now, now, Jacob is angry that you are accusing me. So Jacob says, ask for your gods. If you see, if you see, if you can find them. And let the person who stole it die. Say the power of words. The power of words. So, 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 Laban is looking for it from... Jacob and Jacob says, ah, who harm me too much? By the way, listen, I've not taken it. Whoever took the thing, let the person die. Right. But who stole it? His mm -hmm. own wife. Church, be careful about casual words. I've told you when a word is being pronounced, it doesn't know that it's playing or joking. That's why when somebody is even playing with you and says, hey, you will suffer, oh, it's not playing, it will happen. It's the latter person who stole it, surely die. And the last clause says, but Jacob did not know that his wife has stolen that thing. My goodness. So now, there is a word from the mouth of Jacob that is hanging on rich hill. So when Rachel makes a journey, give me one towel. When Rachel makes a journey, when she makes a step, there is a far away word hanging on her. And the word says, the person who stole it. Well, surely, God, I want to ask you one question. What is the word that is hanging on you? Which word is on you? Which word is hanging on you? Which word is hanging on you? Which word is hanging on you? Which word? So long as she knows, she thinks she's all right. But the own, do you know that if the husband knew that the wife has stolen it, he wouldn't have cursed it. Who has spoken a word? But today I came in the name of Jesus. I came by the mercies of God. I came by the grace of God. Uh, if there's a word, according to your, your former and your past mistakes that are fighting your life, let the blood of Jesus. 
the person who stole the sin will and sure shall surely perish. But the Bible says, look at that. That's what. So in, every text in the Bible has a particular reason. So hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Why did the Bible put a footnote over there? But he did not know that it was the wife. Some words have been spoken, and now it's hanging. So he has said it. So that is the word. So now the D-Day has come. And what's the D-Day? Jacob told, told, told everybody, now, come and search everybody's tent. If you see it with the person, then the person has stolen the thing. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. I come through somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. I, I, I say shout Jesus. Jesus. So this thing has been spoken, then now the search is about to be made. Mr. Laban come, the search is about to be made. Now the search begins. The search begins. The search begins. When Laban first went into Jacob's tent, he sat and searched for everything. Nothing was there. Then now he came to Rachel's tent. When she got there, but Rachel, the Bible has told us again, but Rachel had taken away the household idols. And has hidden them in a camel saddle. A camel saddle is a camel's cushion. When you want to sit on a camel, the cushion you sit on is the camel saddle. So she has stolen the whole thing and has taken a cat camel saddle. Give me a cloth. And has taken a camel saddle and has placed the idol on. Come to show you. Sometimes, hear me. Words are powerful. You can be smart, but the words are smarter than you. So look at it right now. 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 I want, I want those people to sit down. That's what we found. I'm just doing that. Amen. I want those people to sit down right now because this message is a serious message for today. Serious message. Look at it right now. Now, and now, she was, come. And now, she had taken the camel saddle, placed the idol on, sit on it. But mind you, there's already a word hanging. The one who stole it will surely die. Will surely die. And now she was sitting on them. When Laban had thoroughly searched her tent without finding them, she said to her father, Please, sir, daddy. Forgive me if I don't get up for you. I'm having my monthly period. Because in the Jewish culture, when a lady is on her period, you can't touch the lady. So she has lied. So Laban continued his search, but he could not find the household idols. That's what made Jacob to say, the person who stole it will surely die. But he didn't know it was the wife. Now, now that you got this preamble, let me tell you something about a word. A word is always pregnant, waiting for a day it will give birth. So now the word is hanging there. The person will surely die, is waiting for the day. And hear me, the D day comes. The D day comes in 35, verse of 16. Living Bethel, Jacob, Jacob and his clan moved toward Ephraim. But Rachel now became pregnant. So now 32 is passed. Verse 31 is passed. Come. 33 is passed. But chapter 34, 35, Rachel is pregnant. And there's a word on her that the one who stole it will surely die. Anytime there's a word on somebody, it's wait for the particular moment. But today I came, I said to speak. If no really or no really, if there has been a wrong word on your head, today by fire, ah, there's a God of forgiveness. The blood of Jesus is about. Okay, sit down. I'm done in five minutes. Look at it now. But Rachel went into hard labor, into labor, while they were still some distance away. Her labor pains were so intense. After 
a very hard delivery. The midwife said, don't be afraid. You have a son. But still, there's a negative word there. My goodness. When the word is on you, at your moment of your biggest breakthrough. Jesus. Haven't you seen somebody, they have said for something all their lives. But the moment their breakthrough shows up, calamity happens. Because a word was pregnant waiting for them. Jesus. Today I came to do a youth thing on that word. Let the spirit of God, the power of God. Oh my God. Sit down. And hear me, when there's a wrong word on you, it always wait for you at your day of breakthrough. My goodness. When you are broke, it doesn't come. When you are struggling, it doesn't come. But when you are about to give birth to your boy, Jesus. it's what it shows up in, the, in your life. Today, I came to declare, Jesus. any word waiting for you at your day of celebration. Man of God. So her day of celebration became her day of pain. Don't worry, I thought you have another son. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's go. Rachel was about to die. But with her last breath. Why did she breathe her last breath? It is because a Jacob has spoken. Today I want to I came to ask you one question. Who is your Jacob? Jesus. That spoke. Pause here for a minute. Who is that Jacob? Could it be a friend, a father, a mother, an ex-friend? Could it even be an enemy who hates you to every possible guy at your point of delivery? So she said, ah, Jacob is crying, but she, he doesn't know. He also knows something about it. Now mothers are crying because they don't know what they said on their babies when they were struck. My goodness. And people are crying. They don't know what they said by their own mouths. Meye yeni, me wariri, me wuni, a day we missini, me kosuni. Church, all those words they are hanging on you. It says, I will call the boy Benoni. Benoni, I told you, Ben means a son. Onai means pain. He said, I will call him the boy, the son of my pain. Then the same Jacob stood there. The baby's father said, no. Call him Benjamin, the son of my right hand. Because the father knew the power of words. Because the baby would have forever become a son of pain. A son of sorrow. Verse 19, verse 19. Oh, Jesus, my God. So, Rachel died. Eli, before you hear the word, so Rachel died, then it means there was something behind. Church, the next question I will ask you is, what did she use the idols for? For nothing. Some people have gone through pain for nothing. I didn't ask you to clap. So if you are clapping, do it better for God. Church, I took my time to come to you this evening. That on this wild service, words are powerful. And the power of words is that you, you, you might just be dead. Give me a towel. Thank you. The power of words is that, you know, you might think you are saying it, but it will come back to haunt you. Jacob said it to her, but Jacob wept. Oh, my goodness. I said, but Jacob did what? Wept. But he was the architect. He was the designer. He was the writer, the orchestrator of that word. And let me tell you the last thing, then we pray. When there's a negative man of God, when there's a negative word on an individual, all the person's life, the, the particular thing they are looking for, when they get it, is when that word, negative word manifests. Let me explain. Rachel, all her life, she was looking for children. One day she told the husband, if you don't give me a baby, I will die. 
and all the things she's been waiting for all her life. The day it came, it was the day she died because there was a word on her life. Be on your feet. What a word. Bring my mantle. Thank you. Lift up your right hand. Church, when God gives me series to work on, I don't just sleep here and wake up and say, then I'm in preaching. God talks to me and says, Daniel, in, in this season, this is what is happening. Teach my people these revelations. And on Sunday, I will spend my time and tell you the different, different, different pertinent points on how to reverse some of these things. The ushers, uh, I, I sent some species are here, about five species are here, so ushers, make sure you check them. Make sure your bag is not on the chair. Please, sister, don't. Bag is on the chair, except your own, on your own chair. Lift up your hands. Church, if you don't know this secret, would you imagine, imagine when, when Rachel was dying, then the whole family was clapping. Fire, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. She would have still died. But if one of them got the revelation and said that many years ago, this sister stole something, and the man who's crying and praying about is the one who spoke. So today, let us overrule and reverse that word. Oh my God, there would have been a change. This night, only two prayers you're about to lift up to Jehovah. That, oh God, any word that in a joking way, a playful way, it is hunting you. Sometimes you can just be playing. It's just a playful word. Oh, oh, the one who stole it. Oh, church, words don't know play. I'm saying it for the second time. Words don't know play. Lift up your hands. Say by fire. By fire. Put your hand down and look, look at me. Can I tell you another thing at again? The wrong words don't only affect the person, it affects the children. Of Adam, you prove to me. Let me tell you. Rachel, she gave birth to two boys. One of them was called Joseph. Was Joseph ever happy in the house? Was he ever happy in the house? Let me tell you. Forget about that he was favored and the father gave him a cloth of many colors. Let me tell you the truth. The truth is that is because although the father loved him, the mother was not in the house. Because if the mother was there, would the other children and the other sons fight him? So the same word has now fought the boy. Lift up your hands. So one word goes in a different way. It affects Jacob himself, Rachel herself, and the children Joseph themselves. Lift up your hands. Say today. Today. Any negative word. Any negative word. Say any negative word. Any negative word. Hanging on me. Hanging on me. Hanging on my mother. Hanging on my mother. Hanging on my father. Hanging on my father. Any negative word. Any negative word. That is pregnant. That is pregnant. Waiting to give birth. Waiting to give birth. Today. Today. By authority. By authority. Oh God. Oh God. I reverse. I reverse. Forever. Forever. I divert. I divert. Forever. Forever. I change. I change. Forever. Forever. Now. now. Somebody clap your hands. Pray. Reverse it. Send it. Forever. This is your prayer. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Negative world forever and ever. We reverse, we divert, we switch it by the mercy, by the goodness of the living God. As some Biara will be a bien and one time, baby Biara by fire, we reverse. Lava Thank <laughs> you. 
tell you something next week Friday on that day everybody should fast yeah we normally have our mid-year fasting in June but I will tell you our main fasting it gets at the end of the month but on next Friday everybody should fast we will meet here I will tell you something we'll do just in, in case I forget man of God reminding me I just got a clearance lift up your hand now say in the name of Jesus in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus I change I change the negative word the negative word a sister walk in here, the name was called Sister Jackie. I think now she's traveled. When she give birth, when the child gets to one year, six months, the baby will die. For three different children, the baby will die. She came to see me with the husband. They are, they, they've done everything. Uh, they, and, the, and, and, and hear me, the child will be well, but they will get a dream. Before the child dies, the week that the child will die, they will get a dream that they are crossing the road. And the child will be by them. When they cross the road, the child will remain behind. No matter what, the child will get heat. I didn't understand. Temperature. The child will die. Ah. They came to see me. I said, before we pray, I, I just have to understand what is happening. I told them to let's fast for two days. They should go come back to see me on a Sunday. Whilst I was praying for them, the Lord showed me what, the whole issue. So when they came to the office, I asked the sister, I want to ask you one question. And man, you too, I want to ask you one thing. He said, what, 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 what is it, man of God? I said, your wife is called Jackie, right? I said, who is called Jackie? He said, of course, my wife. I said, no, who is called Jackie? They were there. The wife would look at his face. He would look at them. I said, who is called Jackie? That did not tell you about them all. Now say, me, me, but who is called Jackie? We need to sort out the matter. That's when the man remembered. It was a lady he had promised to marry. They have bought the drinks. They've done every, everything possible. Everything was about to get ready. And at that time, the lady was pregnant. So, they had an issue and the marriage didn't come on. Out of the shock, the lady miscarried. So he said it. I said, you know something? The day the lady miscarried, the blood that came out of the lady, she used it and said, uh, uh, she used it and said that this man, no woman will ever give you a baby. That is it. I said, now let's begin direction. That's what I know. I said, write the name of Jackie on a sheet of paper. Get this, get this, get this. Let's pray. Let's fast. Let's do this. And I said, after that, wherever she is, a man of God, I, I said, wherever she is, find something to see her and give her. Man of God, I've asked, I can't find. I said, don't worry, I told the altar will forgive. The altar will give. We prayed. We saw the face of God. Today, they have two children. <laughs> Somebody hear me? We're about to lift up our last, last prayer. Now, hear me? There's one thing I know. Light is always powerful than darkness. Yes. Oh, if a wrong word can happen for Rachel, then the correct word, my God, will happen for you. Today, I declare over your life, I came to place a correct word on you. I came to place a correct word on you. I came to release a correct Some shout, Jesus. I speak on your life. I speak on your destiny. Let correct words, let positive words, let them materialize, let them be activated. Place your hand on your head and say, I activate every 
positive word. Say, I activate every correct word. Lift up your hands. Again, say, I activate, I activate all my positive words. All my positive words. Now, now, pick up that sacrifice of the 20 that was instructed yesterday. Lift it up now. Say, by this sacrifice, by this sacrifice. say, by my correct sacrifice, by, sacrifice. by, authority, by authority, I activate, I activate every, correct every correct word. Now, now. listen, this instruction was not given, it was given after people left. Do you remember? We had to announce it at the compound. The Lord just whispered unto me based on the sermon that God gave to me. Lift it up. Say by authority. By authority. Forever and ever. Forever, Forever and ever. ever. Lord of God, hear me. Sunday, I'll give you the 13 things you need to do. Is that okay? Yes. Say forever and ever. Forever, Forever and ever. ever. I activate, I activate positive words. Positive words. words. Say, oh God. Oh God. God. When a wrong word. When a wrong word. Is coming close to me. Let the altar of the testimony city rise and fight the wrong word. Come and drop it and touch the altar. I beg you, you are only touching. Okay, I don't want to see stampede. Let's come right now, everybody. Let's be very quick. Let's be very quick and let's clap and pray whilst we are doing this. Let's clap and pray now. Activate. Now this is the prayer point. The prayer point is that we are now forever activating correct words yeah, and let's see manifestation of the correct words. Clap when you pray right now. Now. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City, and the Testimony City Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our brokers and become a blessing because the brokers blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the word that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen, testimony, 
I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen, I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given, that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed. Your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life in Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City and the Testimony City Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our broadcast and become a blessing because the broadcast blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the one that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen. Testimony, I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen. I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given, that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed. Your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life in Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you.